Good evening, everybody out there. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to give you guys a uh, quick update. I am not can't be on long uh, tonight. There are lots of things underway right now. Of course, some of you know that. Uh, in fact, I spoke to you guys earlier this week about something taking place right now. The first of about a dozen uh, happenings. That starts with the word pre. I'll leave it at that. But I wanted to uh, tell you guys, this weekend, we're going to have our time. We're going to go over a lot of information this weekend. I will be coming on tomorrow, and we will talk about more than a few subjects. It will be in, uh, it'll be an open forum, so it'll be somewhat of a Q&A for everybody. I'll make sure the time is on the website. It will likely be around 3, 3 p.m., somewhere around there. Somewhere around 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to do that tomorrow. Those of you in California, those of you in the Midwest, you have three events, weather events happening. And just in case you guys don't know what this is, an atmospheric river is a flow of air that scoops up moisture from the oceans and it dumps it inland. Right. It can cause some real bad flooding. All right, in this case, I would expect yeah. in the areas of 7 to 13 inches of rain uh, to hit in several areas of California. That will be the beginning, and it's unfortunate because behind that, there's going to be a lot more. Now, this is doing something to the landmass. It's already very difficult to pinpoint Earthquakes as they hit, but you can almost expect with the mudslides, uh, earthquakes, certain um, unstable regions giving way. Authorities in California are watching several areas, even as we speak. And uh, it's one of those things. Water erodes um, very fast, and it will ultimately cause these mudslides and landslides, right? Our prayers are with you, but be vigilant in California. Pay attention to the forecasts, um, especially in the next 70 hours. Pay attention. Everybody else, all that weather from the uh, West Coast will eventually hit the East Coast. But we're also going to pick up moisture from the Gulf. So something else is going to happen on the East Coast. Be prepared for that. Uh, a lot of people on the East Coast are not prepared for water. Get prepared for water. Be prepared for water. It's only the first part of this year, the season, and immediately following that, because we're going to have to deal with water in a very different way. Right? Something uh, almost all-encompassing. Right after that, we're going to have to deal with the dryness we never expected, nor is anybody talking about right now. The results of a drought that will be vast, far-reaching, very long in duration. I, I suspect many years of drought are going to be ahead right after the water event. Right after that. The water event, by the way, is just that. It's an event pertaining to the water where it will begin to overtake the land. Now, it's not going to destroy... God said this in the Bible. He would not destroy the earth by water again. That's what the rainbow signifies. And, of course, there's a scientific explanation to the rainbow. That's not the point. Because God put the elements in place where that rainbow could form in the first place. This is his creation. Remember that. So it doesn't matter what is explained scientifically. Right? Um, God has put all these things in motion where they can work. Man will always explain it as best he can. Expect that. They do their best. Remember this too. Science can only attempt to explain what God has already done, what he's already created, what he already maintains. Science attempts to explain it. And of course, they have their own methods and ways. Okay? Uh, for the most part, because they deal in what they call facts, they leave no room 
for faith. So is science useful? Yes, it is. Very useful. Um, but you as a Christian, you understand that we have a creator. And science can yield insights into things that you can see before. Right? Just don't adopt the psychology of science unto yourselves, the worship of science. Right? Don't adopt that to yourselves. Have an understanding based on what the Lord has given you. Because he gave you a truth before you could read, before you could write, before you could examine, articulate, and do all those things. You have been given a truth. And with that truth, operate in it. Don't struggle with it. Operate in it. Know it. Right? Walk by it. And, and allow your lives to be enhanced by the Lord's process upon yourselves. But don't fight with it. Simply walk in faith. Walk in faith. That you're right. Mm -hmm. I know that you guys have heard about some of the conflicts in the Middle East and abroad. We already discussed that a couple times. It's happening now. That's all I can say about that, unfortunately. It is not the major campaign. A major campaign is in the works. What you see now is not the major campaign. And it will be um, an enduring campaign. It will be a heavy, and it's already begun. I know that most people do not want to entertain the idea of a global war. Take a look around, though. Take a look around in truth and see what you see. Don't be afraid of it. Examine it. Use what the Lord has given you to understand it. As the Lord has given you understanding. And begin to walk by it. The truth, that is, understanding that hostility is arising all over the earth. Understand it. So that the Lord may continue to prepare you. So that you will be useful right, to prepare others. And to help others. At a time where most people will not be able to help at all. Do that. Please do that. Also, well, there's some other news stories, and we're going to get to that. Now, guys, I know that you guys are waiting for the KD files, and so am I. And so am I. Uh, it goes hand in hand with our news files, right? Uh, the news page will be up first. KD files follow. The KD files, we are thinking about a way of release that will keep everything honest. That because when CUT begins to publish things, those published articles go out over the Internet. You better believe that people will take them, change them. Okay? Uh, they're going to alter them. They're going to do whatever they can do. And in this realm of computers, the sky's the limit. We have to be prepared for that. So then the release of the KD files must go hand in hand with audio files. And these audio files will explain each of the KD files that are being released. Now, this way, you have an authenticator, right? We also have multiple locations where the same files are going to be released. We're doing this so that when, because people are going to, I'll say it again, they're going to alter the information. They're going to have people believing in things that was never said here, never typed here. And we have to know that and be prepared for that. They do it right now with the, with uh, COT, by the way. Some of the sites were contacted that had these speech sites, I'll say. And the, the, the truth is, right, I would not have a problem if they would not, if they would not promote certain beliefs I do not have. I don't share the beliefs with what they're promoting. Right? And that is a major problem. Because I don't have those beliefs. So I'm going to put the word out. Anything that COT does is released from COT directly. Everything else goes through third parties. You know, other people get a hold of it and they publish it themselves. COT has one site. It is the counciloftime.com. COT has no YouTube. None. Zip zero. COT has no other social media accounts. COT has no other audio or video accounts. We only have COT and those... And those um, uh, pages where you can actually access media are found within COT. 
nowhere else. So if you guys know anybody that's somewhere else, and they're following doctrines that somebody else has printed, that was not for me. I do not operate as Mike from around the world on the Internet in no capacity anywhere. That's what Pastor Paul calls me. I do not operate in that capacity, nor do I release anything in any other site anywhere except for COT. Okay, remember that. Spread that around. Everything I do is right here. I see everything. It's not with these other uh, places. All right? Remember that. That will keep some of the confusion down if, if you guys can remember that. That way when somebody else is listening on a different site than they know that person is just playing the audio they recorded from this site. But all the rest of that web page and the, the, the ideologies and this, that, and the other, don't. Not me. I don't do that. I don't. If people want to find out anything about me, they can look into the archives accessed from COT through Patty and Mayor. That's it. And, um, and Angela. And they will see. Right? Everything is right there on that site. So, there we are. Isn't that awesome? See, we were going to spread out all over the place at one point. Right? But um, the Lord said no. Why? These counterfeit folks that are having people believe in different things. That's the big problem right there. Right? Because they start believing in different things. And when they believe in different things, that is misrepresentation of everything that I stand for. And they do this so they can get people to sway them into certain beliefs and all sorts of things. That's why I operate the way I operate right here at COT. I know it's frustrating sometimes, but the Lord knows exactly what he's doing. To date, there have been, there have been hundreds of sites out there that make money or capitalize off of COT and Mike from around the world. Hundreds. So be careful to note, I do not operate nor speak nor show up in any capacity other than COT and the Thursday phone calls with Pastor Paul. Okay? All right. Somebody says, yes, Twist Twist asks for donations. Yes, see, we don't get those. We do not get them. In fact, here's the truth. You ready for that? But if I don't say anything just like what I'm saying right now, no donations come to COT, and that's something. Yeah, we do have some faithful people that have been here for a while. Thank God for them. But, you know, there, there are occasions when things fall off to zero for months at a time, months. I don't, I don't speak about money. You guys know that. I don't have uh, special talks just to raise money and do this, that, and the other. That's not what the COT is about. COT exists to, su to supply services to God's organizations when things begin to happen and things are happening. And we do supply services like chat services, Right? Like audio services to the 300, or, or I'm sorry, 425 churches that are out there, they're utilizing our chat rooms for their people. They do that with COT chat rooms. On the opposite side of that, we have stripped out everything, even uh, any, any of the uh, names and all that stuff from COT, and you still have it, it's going into the corporate world. People who have businesses. Uh, that are, that are biblically based in Christianity. They also can utilize our chat rooms. That's a service we provide, right? So we have a lot of usage in those chat rooms. There, there are tons of chat rooms all over the place. They are free. We have audio and video services coming out. They're going to be free. Uh, people will be able to utilize those and count on those, right? Those who have been utilizing our beta systems have been in interrupt. I mean, nothing has been interrupted for the last uh, eight years. It's been eight years. It's been slow going, but it's been eight years. And they're quite dependable, right? So that is a blessing, right? But when you have these other folks out there that uh, spoof what we believe in this and the other, the whole point of that is to get people discouraged away from COT in the first place, to associate COT with some sort of confusion. They know what they're doing because they, spiritually, Satan does not want anybody providing free services to anybody. He didn't want that, right? He 
certainly does not want some guy from the bushes to do it. He didn't want that either. And so he will try to do anything to start to sway people's minds, to get them to go into something else. That's expected, right? That's why I don't have money conversations or anything like that, because we truly do provide a service. And we're going to continue to do that and spread, and it's growing big time. I was telling everybody yesterday on COT's servers, we have an average of about 1.3 million people at minimum per day utilizing our servers per day. That's a lot of traffic. That's so much traffic that at one location, we have four ISPs feeding in to uh, those servers because each server can run from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ISPs. Each server can run from eight ISPs. And so we have multiple ISPs to handle that bandwidth. And the Lord is blessing. You know why? Because it's working. The, the uh, end result is people are able to communicate the word of God with those, with their groups. And that is a blessing at no charge, with no advertisements, with no creepy stuff going on, without account compromises, all that good stuff. They're able to do that. Now, when they come out of beta and we actually go into the product this year, right, we're going to have even more in those services because this organization is set up to actually help, not to talk, 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 but to help, to actually help, an active help, like help in Asia, help in places in Russia that cannot get uh, certain services. We have radio communications technology also in COT. That's a very big thing. And we're going to continue to do that. So when he said, Mike, should we report them to YouTube? No, I'm going to reach out. Now, if you find somebody just blatantly uh, talking about a belief system of Mike from around the world, they're impersonating Mike from around the world and COT to cause people to believe that we believe in certain things, this, that, and the other. Uh, you can if you want to. But here's my point, though. I don't want to turn anybody in. I don't. I want to reach out to all of them, all of them. The ones we do sanction are daily excellence, right? Um, there are a couple more that uh, Patty and Mare know, Patty and Mare and, and Angela know. All they do is they rebroadcast the audio. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to prosecute anybody or go out there and mess up anybody's income. I don't want to do that. I do want to stop the misrepresentation of how we believe in Christ, that's very important. Hmm? It's very important. Extremely important. So, that's why. That's why. Isn't that, a, isn't that an, all, that's an awesome thing? So you got to watch these folks, because they're, they are, their sole purpose is to, um, not all of them are like that, but many want to, they, they do it for money. They do it for money. There was one account that was making quite a few dollars per month, right? See, just so everybody knows, so all of you know this, right? I have no problem saying that. COT, did, you know what? We did an average of what COT makes per month, right? COT makes, on average, on average, right? You ready for this? $952 a month. That's on average. So you know that. That's why we're going to have the financial pages. So you guys can see yourself. Now, naturally, once people see those financial pages, because PayPal is the only source, the only contact point of income. Unless you guys know um, certain uh, personnel who are with COT that you go through. But everybody else is, um, no, we don't go through them, right? So while everybody else is cashing in on it, right, uh, we, we don't want to, I don't want to stop anybody's money flow, though, if they're rebroadcasting and they built their, you know, things around it, still be it. They're just sharing the word of God, right? That's all they're doing. It's different. It's very different. Um, but when they try to have people believe in things other than Christ or some weird belief in Christ, right? That's wrong. That's wrong. That's what I can't tolerate right there. So unfortunately, those people who try to do that, we're going to have to reach out in a way to give them a chance to back away, right? To undo that. See, the Bible, it says that as we receive freely, we are to give freely. That's why 
everything goes out free. I don't mind if people rebroadcast things. I don't mind that. I do mind if they misrepresent how we believe here, how I believe. Somebody had some bylaws or something that they had set up. I don't, I don't have any of that. I have none of that. Right? And so uh, there we are. Right? So some people are honest. No biggie. Some people are very crooked. Very crooked. And um, it's just one of those things. People will always do that. So don't, you know, don't have a conniption fit when that happens. We just have to be smart enough to continue to be vigilant and uh, do things in a manner that really express who we truly are on a continuous basis. Right? There we go. Because we have a lot to cover and we have a lot to do. Right? Yeah, we have a lot to do. Folks, now listen, I'm going to join you all tomorrow. Okay, so I, I do look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Right? It will cover some political things. It will cover the border, um, some of the things at the border, in a different light. The, the end result is what I'm mostly concerned in. The end result, uh, what the outcome is going to be for the people. You can see everything moving in a specific direction, and it seems for the last 10 years it has not altered. Right? There's a force behind all of this. It is. And if people don't know about that force, if they're not keenly spiritually aware of that force, they, they could begin to operate that, under that force, right? Somebody says, Mike, why are webinars charged for? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, when a ministry, uh, Pastor Paul is, is, is one of those ministries that if he asks my help, I'll help him. Why? Because the Lord directed me to Pastor Paul. There is no way. No way that anybody's going to see somebody in a dream, right? And just be totally disconnected. Plus, there, there are things about past Paul. I don't think you guys know. I want you guys to understand something, something I know, something that I just personally know, right? Now, what past Paul does, he does for his ministry. I will assist. I don't charge for my assistance. I don't do that. That's, that's not how I work, Right? I will do that to assist in ministries absolutely for free. Not going to charge anything. If they make money off of it, so be it. They have to operate somehow. Listen, COT is different. Just because I don't talk about money does not mean a ministry can form out of thin air without utilizing money. Of course they're going to talk about it because people are not spiritually attuned yet to actually operate by the Spirit. I'm somewhat different. I'll suffer and starve to death. I will before I start going into the money thing, because I know, I know the Lord has shown me the, the, the length of what people will go to to confuse the word of God, right? Pastor Paul is a ministry, is a ministry. And with that ministry, a lot of people, now people, everybody can like or not like how people do things, but Pastor Paul has consistently preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. All of us have different beliefs and the different how things work and theologies and this, that, and the other, right? But I wasn't led to Pastor Paul from people. That came by way of a dream. So if any of you had a dream of a guy that was saying, are you serious, and came around on the water in a shirt, that, that one of those pineapple flowery-looking shirts, if you had that dream, you mean to tell me you wouldn't, meet, you wouldn't try to uh, uh, assist that person in any way? I didn't even know that guy. And if you guys knew me prior to uh, doing this online thing, you say, well, no, that's so far out of his character, right? People are always going to have opinions and stories about things. If there's a genuineness in people that the Lord shows me, and I trust the Lord over anybody else, it's just the way it is, right? A lot of people, they, they look for perfection out of people, you know? You look for perfection out of me, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be disappointed, big time. I have a task to perform. That's why I do what I do. Not for people, not for money, not for anything. COT operates at a big loss. A big, well, now it's 11000 almost $11,000 a month loss. That's what we operate at. Per month, while everybody else is making, we lose, right? So be it. If that's the way it has to happen, so be it. I don't share my status with people because people get caught up on the weirdest things, right? But when it comes to authenticity, 
There's a genuineness about people that can only be discerned spiritually. And there's a genuineness in the folks the Lord has drawn me to. There's a genuineness there. And Jimmy Crack Corn, I'm not I'm not concerned about what, what everybody else says. Right? You guys might not know this, but there are some folks whose lives have been permanently altered by Pastor Paul because he knew things he was not supposed to know. That's an absolute fact. That's a fact. So everybody else can say what they want, right? I'm going to do exactly what the Lord has given me to do. I'm going to do it by way in, in love. I'm not being forced to do it. I'm not going to do it for the sake of advantage. I'm not going to do it for any other reason than out of obedience to the most high and from the heart, right? I have a method. If I do something for someone, I do it out of love. I will never do it out of obligation. Not ever. It's out of love, period. Or it's not done at all. That's me. I even teach people to be the same way, especially with their families. Because most families, they like to loan each other things. You don't loan anything to family members. And in this family, this family of the living God, it's the same thing. Same thing. We do what we can for each other. Right? We do what we can. That doesn't have to be advertised. You don't have to go out there and market everything that you do. But back to the webinars. Churches, how are they going to run if they don't have something that they can have some income from? How are they going to operate? How would they ever operate? Hmm? How would they ever do that? Always be careful to look at all of what a person is doing before you say anything. Always. Hmm? But I assist in the Lord's ministries as he points me to them. And there are folks out there that, that um, I know they can't stand me. So let me tell you this. If any of those people who cannot stand me were ever in a position where they needed my help, I would not hesitate for a second to reach out to them. Just so you know that. Just so you know. I, I, I don't operate like uh, people do. They hold grudges and everything else. I could care less because I understand this one thing. As we grow in Christ, our view of the world and everything else is going to change. It will ultimately align itself to truth. As we stay in Christ, we're going to start seeing more and more truth. Nobody begins by seeing the whole truth. As we grow in Christ, we learn about the truth. It's like having a person that you really didn't like, but over time you learned who that person was, and then you end up saying, I was totally wrong about that person. Of course you were. We judge by the eye first. But as you grow spiritually, the Lord opens your eyes to see on a much deeper level. That's how I operate. Is it popular? No, it isn't. Does it hurt you in, in a lot of ways? Yes, it does. It does. Does it bless you? Bless your socks off, right? Of the soul, you better believe it. You better believe it. The ministry is servitude. Do you guys know that? Ministry is servitude. To be given an opportunity to help to, to serve somebody who's attempting to serve Christ, as any of you too who's attempting to serve Christ, is an awesome, is just an, is an awesome opportunity. It really is. So, content. What are you guys talking about over there? Oh, somebody said that. Uh, Somebody said a COT YouTube was canceled. Is that what you said? Not our YouTube. We haven't used it ever. Do you know that? We've never used our YouTube before. We've not used it before. So it wasn't our YouTube. That was somebody else's stuff. And we don't, I don't have social media accounts. I don't do social media. I don't do uh, the social media videos, TikToks, any of those things. I don't have it. I don't even have that in my personal life. It's frustrating for family. Look, it's very difficult for people to get a hold of me. It is. But I don't do social media. I don't do that. I text. I'll send an email. Not social media. I will. Although, although, we will have a tool that is specifically designed for believers. That is social media. It's something we're building. So that will be social media. But um, as far as me having an account with corporate these corporate things out there, no. 
I'll build my own. Give it to the kingdom in that sense. Or in the last thing, COT is set up, it's being set up, and it operates in a way where it can be easily handed over. It can be handed over. So what that means is, once I'm done with doing my part for COT, I'm giving it to a successor. Giving it, not selling it, giving it. Everything in it will be given. Every single item that goes to a COT is going to be passed to a successor. Not sold, given. Given. Okay? In the Bible, the apostles, they set a foundation for the gospel, and they worked very hard to set that foundation. They did not charge to set that foundation. And when they set that foundation, they set it for one reason, and they spoke that in the Bible, that other people would come and build atop that foundation. So I'm doing COT that same way. So any, any assets and COT and all of that are going to be given to the successor, and hopefully they continue to operate COT independently of the world so that the world's standards will not invade COT and overcome it, right? Because anything that is, uh, um, anything that's made, if you start making an organization that is uh, public, the public is going to own that organization. And I can tell you right now, the public does not condone the speech of a Christian. They don't like it. They don't like it. Yes, I wrote a short story back in 88. I sure did. And it was published. Yes, it was. And I can't give you the title, but you'll, you'll no doubt run across it uh, soon. It, in fact, there is a link connected to it. Right? There is a link connected to it. And uh, you can find that story. It... It spread around in a lot of academic circles. It did. It did. And I used to write papers, a lot of academic papers from time to time I did. Published. Now, those are not books that you sell. These are published papers. Um, papers that people evaluate, replicate in scientific environments and do their thing. So, and yes, they were published. But then I kind of abandoned all of that direction to go into a different one. I did. Sometimes I get a little obsessive about subjects. And I can see that with certain areas of science. In other words, I can't leave something alone until I know all about it, until I can master that subject. That's an obsessive behavior, right? And so uh, in the effort not to tie up my entire life, being one of those gray-haired, kooky-eyed individuals, right, that are constantly reading and all this and the other, I cut all of it loose, all of it loose. Now I use all of that on an independent basis for the kingdom. I do that for the kingdom. For, some, in, in, for example, in 1990, we worked, um, what was that, 89 to 90s, uh, through, through, through 93, I believe it was. There are areas in the Middle East that have no infrastructure whatsoever. They didn't have any infrastructure and water. Uh, some of the wells that were over there were drying up and changing and all this and the other. And the, there are flies over there like you wouldn't believe, right? If you get cut on something, it's like 100 flies are on you, just like that. So water is very important. Well, air conditioners, right? Air conditioners actually can create water out of nothing. So how do you get an air conditioner to run without power? What's the question? Without a person killing themselves. Well, the one thing they do have in the desert, right? It's wind, wind, and a lot of, uh, a lot of sunlight, a lot of sunlight and wind. So naturally, wind was the, was the opted thing there, because just about every single week, you're going to have a windstorm. Multiple times a week, sometimes you have a windstorm. And in those powered moments, you can generate or, or cause compressor, these large compressors to operate with great efficiency, causing, you know, a lot of water to form. So we took that a step further. The one thing that always happens is you have these people walking camels in the desert, this, that, and the other, right? So all you need is some little bit of engineering with some gears and some ratios to actually begin to cause um, a compressor to work without electricity very efficiently. And so movement would cause that condensation. Believe it or not, over time, when you're doing that, if you do that for a whole day, you will have created a half a gallon to a gallon of water, right? And because these guys know how to conserve, and the animals can walk so much faster than people, uh, well, some weird little things came out of that. I mean, so we were doing things like that a long time ago back then to try and get people um, a solution, 
for things they had. There, there are a lot of taps around there, but taps are dangerous because of the sands and what the sands carry. Um, but condensation with compressors. And it just so happens that in Bahrain, right, or, well, where Kobar Towers was and Bahrain, they made a specific type of compressor. That was a manual compressor. Somehow they built some sort of a, a, a foot pedal compressor that operated just like a refrigerator with that much power. And so with those in place, right, we just simply rigged something, up, made a type of uh, harness, you could say, a jig, let's say a jig, a small constructed thing where people could actually get water whenever they wanted that, right? It was better than having no water. Then we started getting into shipping water. We did, which is a very difficult thing. You think you can just get some water and go ship it overseas? Not so. That doesn't work that way. Not so. Right? You have to go through some wild places. But because we knew the desert, and we knew some hostile places in the desert, and we had contacts in multiple villages in these deserts, um, we, we actually started to uh, set up a little, you know, little distribution spots to get to people of whom the world has forgotten about. For some reason, the Lord draws me to folks that the world has pushed aside. Hmm? Folks that people have given up on. I always seem to find them, and I have a heart for them. I do. I'm sure that many of you have that same heart. But those people are precious to me. The folks that the world throws away. And I try to do whatever I can for them, anywhere I can. I do. I do. I wouldn't doubt that same heart as in many of you. I wouldn't doubt that. Okay, folks, I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing all of you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, around, right now, it's going to be around uh, 4 p.m., around 4 p.m., right? I will try to, uh, I'll try to put a more accurate time on the website. So just kind of check with it around 3 p.m. Start checking to see what, what the more accurate time will be, okay? And then you'll know, all right? With all of you, I'm going to say God bless you. Hopefully that clarifies uh, some things out a little bit. But I really look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, remember, is, is uh, somewhat of a QA. and a It's going to be open, floors open tomorrow for any types of uh, questions. And we'll take up and go forward where we left off. God bless each of you. Listen, I'll see you guys tomorrow right here at COT, hopefully. You guys take care of each other, too. And remember, those of you on the West Coast, be vigilant. Be vigilant. You have a real uh, situation for me. Those of you in Texas, New Mexico, near the border, be vigilant. You guys have a real situation for me, okay? God bless and keep all of you. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow right here at CFT. God bless. And thank you, Flash. Thank you, Flash. Okay, guys, I'm going to see you. I'll see you tomorrow right here at CFT. See that? Mayor didn't come out. Thank you, Flash and Sister Mayor. Yep. Wait a minute. Can I give you guys the nicknames of uh, Sister Mayor and Flash? Can I do that? Let's see, what was it? Maddie and Flair. Yeah, there we go. Maddie and Flair, that's what it was. God bless you guys. I'm going to see you next time right here at COT, okay? God bless. And Robin, God bless. And Pooh Bear. And all of you guys. In there. Good Lord. Okay, I'm, I'm gone. I'll be saying goodnight names all night long. Won't go anywhere and get anything done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.